Hey, welcome back. We are on the road again this week, this time in Middleton, Wisconsin. Yeah, there's a lot going on here this week and this weekend, including Good Neighbor Festival. But we're going to break it all down. We, so we brought in Brent McHenry. Thank you so much for welcome. being here. Thanks. Yeah, Appreciate so it. first of all, let's start with the festival, 60th year. 60th year, Diamond Jubilee. So Ooh. 1963, two local gentlemen had this haybring hey idea to okay. kind of put together a festival for all the volunteer organizations and it's been volunteer run for 60 years that's awesome running you know fundraising for those fun you know volunteer organizations that's incredible 60 years i mean i can't imagine the change of this festival but also the change of middleton it's seen so much growth mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about that well you know beyond just the festival you know we've, we've seen a lot of growth in terms yeah. of our downtown and you know rejuvenating that and since the covid time but you know we've added a lot of different housing opportunities in middleton and some new shopping areas and mm -hmm. it's it's definitely grown since they first decided to do a festival like this yeah, in the middle of, of downtown yeah right in the middle it, one of the great things stone horse green yes just open yeah beautiful downtown concert green venue um we do a lot of events there mm. throughout the summer weeknights weekends um right in the heart of the downtown middleton area so it's mm -hmm. a great venue if you want to sit on the lawn and enjoy some live music. That's so cool. I know Stone Horse Green, kind of a funny name, but it's because there used to be stables there. Tell me more about that. That was the livery for the city of Middleton. And wow. so when we did the construction or when they did the construction, they found some of those artifacts, horseshoes and bridles and things, you know, because wow. some of it had just been left. Mm -hmm. And when we moved on and did other things in the city, but that was kind of the, the, the convening place of the city back then yeah. and so that's why it's a perfect location to do it now yeah keep, just keep that going there's a lot of new restaurants and things uh, around you know downtown how important is that to bring people down and, and build the atmosphere you know that that's really what helps bring make that atmosphere mm. enjoyable because you can you can bring your food right over onto the green space you can grab a, a beverage and bring it right over mm -hmm. but it also it's a different type of food you know there's all different types of food down there so you if you haven't been to Middleton lately mm -hmm. there's a lot to a lot to offer and a lot to eat and it's casual enjoyable walkable and lots of free parking I mean, what what more makes Middleton such a destination for people to come to? That and the Conservancy, I would say. Yeah. You know, our Pheasant Branch Conservancy. What a great way to go on a walk on a trail or a bike on a trail and stop in downtown and enjoy yeah. an evening, you know, like this, where it's cool and breezy and yeah. perfect conditions. Oh, it's the perfect night. <laughs> I was just actually down at the Conservancy earlier today, and it was filled with bikers and walkers. And we just so. reopened a bunch of the trail yeah. um, not but two weeks ago because oh, of the nice. damage from the flooding. And so yeah. new bridges, new pathways, new great opportunities to explore that you know, oh, really preserved down area in, yep. in Middleton. Brent, thank you so much. I know you can probably hear a lot of the sound checks going on for the Middleton Good Neighbor Festival. We'll have so much more on the festival and Middleton coming up at 5. But first